Who was the man in the iron mask? This is one of the most enduring mysteries of history and one that has fascinated generations of writers, historians and filmmakers. In this video, we will examine the facts, the theories and the legends behind this mysterious figure. The man in the iron mask was a prisoner of state during the reign of King Louis XIV of France who ruled from 1643 to 1715. He was arrested in 1669 under the name of Eustache Dauga and was transferred to several prisons over the course of 34 years. He was always kept in solitary confinement under the strict supervision of the same jailer, Benigne d'Auvergne de Saint-Mars. He died in 1703 in the Bastille and was buried under the name of Marchioli. What was his crime? Why was he kept in such secrecy? And most importantly, who was he? These questions have puzzled historians for centuries and have given rise to many speculations and theories. One of the most popular theories is that the man in the iron mask was a twin brother of Louis XIV, who was hidden at birth and later imprisoned to prevent any challenge to the throne. This theory was first proposed by the French philosopher and writer Voltaire in his book Questions sur l'Encyclopédie, published in 1771. Voltaire claimed that he had learned this secret from his friend, the Duc de Choiseul, who was a minister of Louis XV. Voltaire's theory was later expanded by the French novelist Alexandre Dumas in his famous novel The Vicomte de Bragelonne, published in 1847. Dumas added more details and drama to the story, such as the involvement of the three musketeers the switch of the twins and the romance between the masked prisoner and the king's mistress. The twin theory has been the most widely adopted by popular culture and has inspired many adaptations in literature, theatre and cinema. However, it has also been challenged by many historians who argue that there is no evidence of a twin birth in the royal records and that the mask was not made of iron but of black velvet. Another theory is that the man in the iron mask was Ercole Antonio Mattioli, an Italian diplomat who was involved in a political intrigue in the 1670s. Mattioli was hired by Louis XIV to negotiate the secret treaty of Pinerolo, which ceded the city of Casale to France. However, Mattioli betrayed the king and revealed the treaty to the Duke of Savoy, who was the ruler of Casale. As a result, Mattioli was kidnapped and jailed by the French agents, and his name was changed to Marchioli to conceal his identity. This theory was proposed by the French historian Maurice Duvivier in his book L'Homme au Masque de Fer, published in 1932. Duvivier based his argument on the similarity of the names Marchioli and Mattioli and on the correspondence between Saint-Mars and his superiors, which referred to the prisoner as only a valet and as someone who had seen and knew too much. The Mattioli theory has been supported by some historians who consider it the most plausible and consistent with the historical evidence. However, it has also been criticized by others who point out that Mattioli was not a very important or dangerous prisoner and that his imprisonment did not justify such a high level of secrecy and security. There are many other theories that have been suggested over the years, such as that the man in the iron mask was a disgraced nobleman, a secret lover of the queen, a bastard son of the king, or even a woman. However, none of these theories have been conclusively proven or disproven, and the mystery remains unsolved. The Man in the Iron Mask is a fascinating historical enigma that has captured the imagination of many people for centuries. He represents the intrigue, the mystery and the drama of the French monarchy and the power of the legend over the truth. Who do you think he was? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos like this.